Buena Scanner here, back with another SDS 100 video. And in today's video, I'm just gonna give you a quick tip, something I think you should do when you first grab your scanner. This is something a lot of people just kind of overlook, but it's something that you can actually do inside of Sentinel, quick and easy. So what this is, is putting your contact information on the boot up screen on the SDS 100. And this can be useful for a lot of reasons. If you ever lose the SDS 100, you could put some contact information on there so that they could return it to you or give you a call or contact you via email, etc. Or if somebody even stole it, maybe they took it to a pawn shop or something and tried to sell it, they turn it on and see your contact information. That could be a good way to get the scanner back in your hands if you should ever misplace it, lose it, or get it stolen. So I'm just gonna turn this on and I'll show you. Just pay attention to the screen when it boots up. You'll notice the information there. So what I'm gonna do is hop over to my computer and we'll hop inside of Sentinel and I'll go ahead and show you how to get set up. All right, I'm inside of Sentinel right now and the first thing you always wanna do whenever you use Sentinel is, especially if you've programmed something on your scanner, um, what you always wanna do first is you wanna read from the scanner once you're plugged in. So always go ahead and just read from that scanner so you get all that information from the scanner back to your computer and now you have a fresh new database that, you know, that's not not gonna be overwritten that you can put back on your scanner after you do some edits make changes etc one thing that can really really be disappointing is if you edit things on sentinel and then upload it to your scanner and then maybe in the meantime a couple weeks go by and you program manually some things inside of your scanner and then you forget to read from the scanner when you uh, connect back to sentinel and then what happens is when you edit on sentinel you write to the scanner and overwrite all that manual work you did on the scanner already so anytime you hook up to Sentinel, make sure to read from the scanner. That way it pulls the database off your scanner onto Sentinel and then you have that fresh database to work with and then you can make changes and then write back to the scanner. And then obviously always read from the scanner before you do the updates on the system. That's just how I do it and that's that's just how I've always done it. Seems to work very well. And then now we'll just go ahead and check to make sure we're up to date with the firmware. So we are updated there. And I just recently updated the master database, so I think I'm fine here. So all we need to do to change that text on the display is come up here to edit, and then we'll head over to profile. And then we just wanna go into display options, and you'll see that information right down here. So we can edit, edit this information however we want. We could put in you know, your name, an email address, I have a website here and then you could actually go ahead and put your phone number as well so somebody could call you. So this is how you would just go ahead and change this information and then you could close this out and now we could just go ahead and write to the scanner and then what I like to do now is just click erase favorites list on scanner and then click OK and that'll overwrite everything on the scanner and that's why it's important to read from the scanner before we do this. Um, I make a lot of manual changes. Some people don't. Um, I do a lot of tweaking and messing around on my scanner in between, you know, my Sentinel sessions, so to speak. So I, I always make sure to read from that scanner before I uh, make any changes in Sentinel. Um, so that is complete, and that is how you do it. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video and found it helpful. I know it was a quick one, but if you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Make sure to check that bell so you get notified anytime I upload a video and we'll see you in the next video guys. Take care.